I'm David Volk for Chin Music. Today's post, top phrases for what Harris did to Trump in the debate a few weeks back. It was so bad, they're still thinking up new phrases. As a writer, I'm constantly looking for new ways to say a thing that I've had to say over and over again. Sure, the word won is good, but victorious is even better. Especially if you're a sports writer. I mean, how many times can you say that a team beat another team, especially if the winner is going undefeated? Fortunately, sports rep reporters have developed their own colorful thesaurus over the years with phrases like vanquished, devastated, and cleaned the floor with. For good or ill, political reporters don't typically get the opportunity to come up with new phrases to describe a futile effort other than lost in a landslide. So, as a public service, I'd like to help them out and give them new phrases that they can use to describe what Kamala Harris did to Donald Trump at the debate. It may seem to be too little, too late, but not necessarily. Many of the political reporters still have to write think pieces over the next couple of weeks. Let's get started, shall we? One, gave him a garbage can beating. I've always liked this one. The only problem is that it makes it sound like she took him out behind a building in an alley and beat the snot out of him. That's not true. She did it out in public where everyone could see. Two, beat him like a drum. Well, yes and no. There's no question that she beat him, but he's the one who allowed it to happen. All she did was wind him up and let him go. Three, manhandled. So ironically appropriate. He and his supporters are so angry that he got beat by an African-American woman that the only possible explanation is that she got the questions in advance, because otherwise they'd have to admit she bested him fair and square. And as he sees it, the only way he ever loses is if someone else cheats. Number four, abused the elderly. It's true, but only because he allowed her to, sort of. Although he likes to represent himself as being vigorous, smart, and on the top of his game, his repeatedly telling the same stories about people eating pets and babies being aborted after they are born make him sound like your crazy uncle who sits at the other end of the table at Thanksgiving ranting about the Trilateral Commission, the Freemasons, and the Papal Conspiracy. Or, at the very least, like the grandfather on The Simpsons talking about his trip to Shelbyville back in the old days. Number five, folded his clothes while he was still in them. What a great image. I can just see her putting the resulting pile of clothes in a dresser, closing the drawers, closing the drawer, I should say, dusting off her hands and walking away. Of course, it helps that his suits are cheap and easy to fold. Number six, wipe the floor with him. This one is kind of risky because it refers to to as women's work, but I've long been willing to accept that Kamala is proving that being president could well fall in the same category. Number seven, treated him like a punching bag. Makes sense. What most people didn't see at the start of the debate is that he was shocked by the fact that when she shook his hand that she was wearing boxing gloves. <laughs> Mullered him. Yes, this is actually a thing. It's English slang for devastating an opponent. Some say it comes from the German for Miller, which means to grind. While it has absolutely nothing to do with Robert Mueller investigation, it still seems poetically appropriate. And finally, opened up a can of whoop ass on him. It's almost like she ordered it directly from Joan Soda. That about covers it. And the saga continues. I've been David Volk for Chin Music.